When I heard the news about Elon Musk's jet being tracked by a teenager, who, by the way, is my next guest, I immediately thought of a scene from the legendary movie Wall Street. You remember in it, a young trader is played by Charlie Sheen, and he's selling his soul to work for Gordon Gecko, played by Michael Douglas. In this scene, he's been enlisted to spy on a business rival. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mr. Wildman, on board that yeah. plane. My boss is going to kill me. I'm supposed to give him this. You know where that plane is going? Erie, Pennsylvania. Thank you. 19-year-old Jack Sweeney has been tracking the Tesla SpaceX billionaire's private Gulfstream. On Twitter, Sweeney's account called Elon Jet uses public records to map the flights. He also tracks the planes of other moguls like Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos. But Musk sent Sweeney a private Twitter message asking him to stop. Musk's initial direct message to him, which Sweeney shared with us, but we've not been able to verify by SpaceX, was this. Can you take this down? It's a security risk. Sweeney replied, yes, I can, but it'll cost you a Model 3, only joking, unless, question mark. Sweeney says Musk offered him $5,000 to take it down, writing, I don't love the idea of being shot by a nutcase. Sweeney countered, asking for $50,000. The last message exchanged was January 19, when Musk said it didn't feel right to, quote, pay to shut this down. And Sweeney replied, options other than remuneration, like an internship, would make taking it down a lot easier. The Elon Jet account currently has more than 375,000 followers. Recently, the CEO of a car leasing company offered Jack a free three-year lease on a Tesla Model 3 to permanently remove the account, but he's still holding firm. We reached out to Elon Musk. He apparently was not available. But Jack Sweeney joins me now. He's a freshman at the University of Central Florida. Jack, what are you majoring in and what is your career aspiration? I'm uh, majoring in IT here at UCF, and I want to do some kind of software in aviation like I am right now, basically. What was the plan when you started tracking Elon Musk's Gulfstream? You know, so I was a fan of Elon and Tesla and SpaceX and everything he's got going on, and I was just interested in where he was going. It was just a hobby to see what business he was up to. Fair to say, though, that never was the goal, hey, I'm going to track him and get him to pay me money? Yeah, no, I mean, I was a fan. I would never want to, like, just try to get money out of him. What about the concern that he raises that perhaps this poses a security threat? You, you know, th there is some merit to that. But, you know, I don't know if he's being completely truthful that it's all security. Maybe he just doesn't want to be seen. And I don't think the security risk, it, it's not it's that big because even just recently, Elon had an event in uh, Texas and someone asked him if he would come to this public event and he said, sure. Like, if he can go to events like that, I don't think he has that big of a security risk. Listen, Wall Street, the movie, was before your time, but it's a hell of a film and yeah. it impacted my generation. And I don't know if you were able to see the clip that we played, but here's the point I was making. There's probably a great deal to be learned about Musk business-wise by knowing his physical whereabouts. Had that occurred to you? Uh, yeah, it has. After I started it, you could see where he's going that you haven't possibly seen before. All the Tesla factories, all the SpaceX places. He's going to those and see. you can see what's going on. Has he made it more difficult for you to track his flights? Uh, yeah, he got the most, the highest level of blocking, but actually just in the past couple of days, it's been turned off. So, I mean, have, have they given up, I guess? It's really strange. Is, is this based on all publicly available information? If I had your level of knowledge and sophistication, would I be able to do exactly what you're doing? Yeah, you'd be able to track his flight like I am on Twitter. Who else are you tracking and why? Uh, we have Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, uh, the Trump, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, Mark Cuban. And, you know, just people are interested. After I started the first one, people were asking for others. So I started adding, adding them. Has anybody else beefed the way that Musk has? Uh, no, I mean, the accounts aren't as big. You know, Musk is really big on Twitter, so you can understand why it's gotten as big as it has. So I don't think there's as much attention on other ones like Elon's. So, so what, what is your current demand? 
relative to Musk, what will it make for you to go away and stop this? Uh, s still a Tesla or $50,000. I mean, I'm not going to up it. There's no need to. I, I bet people who are watching this are, are making a determination as to whether this is ambition, this is in the American spirit, or whether it gets a bit obnoxious. You would tell them what? Um, I would just start it as a hobby, and I don't want to let go of a hobby for something that's not really going to change my life. You know, it's something I enjoy doing, and I find it really cool to do. But the new Tesla, that would change your life. Yeah, I don't have a car right now, and it would be great to have a car, <laughs> and it would be a really cool car. I'm sure that he probably, I don't know. I mean, I'm a, I'm, I'm a Musk fan myself. Um, I, I'm sure that he admires this in part, but thinks that if he if he settled up with you the way you want, he's opening up a door that, yeah, you know, nothing other good is, is coming from it. Too. it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. All right, well, I wish you good it. things. I wish you good things with your studies. Thank you. Let's see what you're saying via my Smirconish Twitter and Facebook pages from the world of Twitter. Laugh out loud. I have owned a Tesla for over six years, and you are a relatively new owner. Yes, I am. Elon Musk has been tracking... <laughs> He's been tracking our private cars and skill sets for years. How do you feel now? That is so funny. Um, quick story. So in our house, we were playing Oculus this week, which is owned, I think, by Facebook. And one of my sons said to me, Dad, imagine if the U.S. government said, we want to put a camera in your living room. And we would, buy, we would be like, don't tread on me, right, over my dead body. And yet, voluntarily, to your point about Tesla, like, we've given Zuckerberg and Facebook that window into our living room by playing Oculus. It's all so true. It's all so true.